Hey everybody, Ann here. Coffee is done and I gotta get moving because it's supposed to rain again today and I have some goals in mind. I'm gonna try making another garden bed in this corner of the yard for maybe some squash. So I've just dug up some of that. It's been rained on since then, but that's okay. Um, and I've just put, well, what was basically in the bottom of here, um, just a bunch of wood and some bedding and some rabbit stuff. And next I'm gonna get some more stuff from the rabbit uh, hutch and mix some dirt in with it and just keep layering it up until it's kinda, kinda high and see if I can get some squash to grow here. Look at all that wonderful fertilizer. And I'm just trying this out right now. I haven't even put replacement bedding in there, but this fits. This fits, I need to block off this side with some more chicken wire of some kind uh, because there's a little space but look at this it fits perfect it fits perfectly um you know what I may do something else just cover up that one side and the top and this hardware cloth if I keep it down on the bottom It'll lift the bunny up, Mr. Bunny, Papa Bunny, and the rabbit droppings will be able to go through to the bottom, so I won't even need to have bedding over in this spot. And once they start breeding, I can separate Papa Bunny into this, and I think it's going to give him enough room. I just need to put food and water in there. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that's an option. Don't jump out. I just kind of put it in there. And I've left it with the top open, um, and it's open on that side, so they can get in and out. And I haven't put any bedding down here. I just want to see what happens and what, what they look like. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Sorry, I'm not holding this very well. I'm not sure if that's going to be big enough to keep one male bunny in. See, look at that. I don't know if that's enough room. I really just don't know. Yeah, the top would need to be covered. I may be able to do it, turn it around so the open part is this, and then just block off part of this nesting box for it. Oh no, I'm thinking they're not mating yet. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Got one layer down. Got a layer of clay over it, and I think I'm just gonna toss this around because this stuff is so dense. Oh yeah. But things are growing in it, so I'm thinking that this might work, you know? Oh, there's a big piece of wood. Okay, right, let me just toss this around a little bit and then get another layer. And you know what? This here, this is one of my lettuce boxes. It is not growing very well. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I've been watering it. So I'm going to take that lettuce out and feed it to Beauty's crew, Beauty and her crew, and dump that over there. There we go. All I have to do now is plant something down in there, and then I'm going to cover it up with another layer of this stuff. I'm thinking that it's going to be something out of this bed. Yeah, this is zucchini. That's yellow summer squash, and these are already getting pretty big, so I think I'm just going to liberate one of these zucchini squash and put it over in that mound. There we go. I got as much of the roots as I could, but before I cover it up with more rabbit stuff, there's already little blooms forming down in the bottom there. So hopefully I didn't kill it. And so I'm gonna add the rabbit stuff over it, water it real good, and keep my fingers crossed. I've also added some more of that bedding to these, these beans, they're already starting to climb. They're doing really well. I added some to this tomato plant. It's growing, I cannot believe it. And what else? Oh look it, it's already getting wilty. Yeah, once you mess with the roots, it kind of messes up, messes up the plant for a little bit, but hopefully it'll be okay. I added some more chicken, uh, not chicken, rabbit bedding here, here, uh, not on the cucumbers yet. I did add some more over here, so, ah, and this right here, I have been bringing ladybugs in here, and they all but one flew away. They will eat the aphids. I need to find some more ladybugs. I don't know if there's still one here. It would be nice. Uh, see, there's an aphid right there. Um, 
I may just get some diatomaceous earth. I've got some on hand and dust the leaves off with it. I know that might take care of them. But otherwise, everything is looking pretty gosh darn good. Look at you guys. I got a little cherry tomato coming. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh, there's so many blooms on these plants. So I've got to go through. I don't know if I'll do this today. I'm running low on energy now. Maybe I'll just take a rest and do it. I need some more twine here and there uh, because these plants are getting humongous. The beans, these are just bush beans, and they're growing pretty good too. I'm trying to get them to just come out the sides here. Look at that. Look. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked. Whoa, there's more tomatoes over here. There's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, these cherry tomatoes are going to be great. I cannot wait because I've been wanting to make a salad with some wild lettuce, my pickled eggs, and some tomatoes, and maybe some cucumbers at some point. I don't know, you guys. I'm just so happy with the way this is looking right now. Oh, 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 oh. Celebrity tomatoes officially. Let me see if I can get this in focus. Come on. Yep, that's a celebrity. One of the bigger ones. I get tomatoes. The peas are climbing. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're attaching too. You know what's funny about these beds? Between this bed and this bed, and this bed, the corn is doing the best in this little tiny bed. Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna give the beans another week and then I'm gonna plant some squash. I may even end up just transplanting some of the squash that's already growing, I don't know. Um, I really only need one squash plant in this bed and maybe Two squash in this bed maybe I, I, I might be able to do one here one there and one there not sure yet and then maybe just two in this bed one right here and one right here so but the beans they are coming up the corn is growing taller so this so far is doing pretty good oh and down here Ants keep getting up in there so I keep uh, disturbing their nest and putting diatomaceous earth down. It works for a few days, but then they come back and they just start building their mound again. It's very annoying. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Look at all those tomato leaves. Well, I thinned out suckers and there were a ton of them. The bottom leaves, a ton of them. They were practically on the ground and it opens it all up. There's going to be air that's going to be able to get in. These beans will do better. All the tomato plants will do better. Um, I think I'm going to get more fruits instead of just growing tomato plants. I'm trying to grow tomatoes. Um, I did leave a few suckers. Yeah, <laughs> I did leave a few. But I had to really drastically cut back all of them. And then I just secured them to their individual stakes. That right there, um, it's already loosened up. I'm probably going to take that twine off and use it for something else. I don't know. I might just leave it there. But everything else is looking really good. Plenty of air circulation, and hopefully I've got them high enough so that, um, you know, when it rains and the water splashes up, there isn't any fungus, and hopefully I won't get blight this year. i it to this garden bed as well. Um, and again, with this, I've just tied them to the stakes. And I tied, I tied little bows so I could undo it and adjust it if I needed to. So, uh, yeah, and there's even little blooms on these here too. So I think that this will work better. Last year I didn't trim my uh, tomato plants back at all until they started developing blight and then it just goes up the entire plant. So hopefully I've done enough. <laughs> we will see. I, I might do need to do some more here and there. But I think that these, this will make the plants healthier. I know that um, it seems drastic and it looks like I cut off half of my tomato crop, but I didn't. Um, there's still plenty of foliage left there and there are a ton of tomatoes coming on. And this will just go in the compost heap. I'm in the process of getting ready for baby chicks. There's uh, 14 days left. So I've closed off this nesting box and took the little perch out with the two uh, basket thingies. I put one over here, put some bedding in it and a couple of eggs in hopes that they will lay here instead of back in there. 
them lay right here in this uh, filing cabinet, but there's also this one up here, so I put some fresh bedding up there and a couple of eggs. Uh, I got to put some more bedding everywhere, but I put another box here and a couple of eggs. So hopefully they will get used to using one of these three nesting boxes instead of the back. I'm beat, so I think I'm done for the day. I got quite a bit done, and no, Kickstand did not make it up into the coop by himself. Last night, I'm going to try a different strategy tonight and hopefully encourage him up there before he goes around to the back, uh, the back of the coop where he's outside and the baby chicks are inside at the back and they're peeping and so he can't figure out where they are. So he goes around to the back and just sits there. The good thing is, is he lets me just walk wide up to him and pick him up and, and put him in the coop. So, um, But I'm going to try and encourage him when the other two go in to get him and put him in the coop on the ramp and encourage him to go up the ramp and follow the other two. So, don't know if it's going to work. Anyhow, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.